Hi, Sean McManaman here, your Tampa Bay Area Realtor. If you're a buyer or a seller, feel free to click on one of the links in the video. If you're a buyer, you can set up your own home search. If you're a seller, you can click on the link and get the value of your home. What I want to talk about today is short sales. I get a lot of questions from buyers about short sales, and they don't understand them, and they want to know if they should look at them. Well, let me define what a short sale is. The total amount of mortgages and liens on the property exceed the value of the home. So the home is upside down in value. What is owed on it is more than what it is worth. The only way to sell that property without coming to closing with the difference in cash is to do a short sale. Now, one of the misconceptions I hear is that I want to look at short sales because I want to get a good deal. Well, that is a big misconception because the banks are the ones that approve the short sale, not the seller, the bank. So the bank does their own appraisal and valuation, and they come up with what the market value is. They don't come off of that market value too much. Now, if the home's in need of major repairs or renovation, that's when they'll come off of the, the market value a little bit. But if you're a buyer and you're buying a home that needs major renovation, most likely you're going to have to pay cash for that renovation. You're not going to be able to get a mortgage on it. So that is a big misconception. They're going to, the bank's going to take what the value of the home is. They don't want to come off it too much. Now, one of the other major drawbacks as a buyer is that when you put an offer in on a short sale, you have to negotiate with the bank, basically. Even if the seller agrees on the sales price, it still goes to the bank for approval. Now, the time that it takes for that approval can range from 90 days all the way up to six to eight months. So you as a buyer, you're under contract during that time and you're waiting for the bank to approve the sale. Now the bank doesn't have to take the price that you guys agreed on, you and the seller agreed on. They come back, like I said in the market value, they come back with what they will accept on the sale. And a lot of times that amount is even higher than what the seller lists it for. So they could come back with that value. You've been under contract for a long period of time. You missed out on other sales that came on the market. So when I'm advising buyers, very rarely do I advise them to look at a short sale because there's a lot more that goes into it. I can make this video a half hour long about how short sales really work. So unless it's an approved short sale, I do not let my buyers look at it. It's really a waste of time. If you need to get more information on short sales, feel free to contact me. I would be happy to sit down and go over how they work in depth and so you can make your own decision as to whether you want to look at short sales. I hope you found this video helpful. Once again, if you any of your real estate needs, feel free to contact me or one of my team members. Have a great day. Thank you very much.